Hello, my beautiful Leos. Welcome to your uh, forecast, love forecast for what is their true feelings for you right now. Thank you guys so much for liking, sharing, subscribing, and thank you to my members. I really appreciate all of your support. If you would like to become a member, all you have to do is click the join button below. Also, um, my personal readings are closed right now, but you can get on the list if you would like a reading in the future. Um, for the free reading contest, it's still going on, so there's still time, so stick with me till the end, and I'll give you guys all the details. And so, if you guys like it this way, you want me to continue to do it this way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. You can do both. Let's jump right in. So I'm going to use three different decks today to talk about how their true feelings are for you. So how is my Leo's love interest, the one they're here for, the one they want to know about, how is my Leo's love interest, true feelings towards them romantically? Show me the cards you need to see. Show me the cards you need to see. All right, let's take a look at this. So let's first throw down these cards. We've got the Ten of Cups energy. We have the Five of Pentacles energy. We have the Three of Swords energy. We have the Queen of Cups energy. We have the Emperor energy. We have the Ace of Wands energy. We have the Chariot card energy. We have the Six of Pentacles energy. And we have the Three of Pentacles energy. All right, so let's first go through uh, the first card here. Your person feels like, I feel like when I see this card, when I've had the feeling of this card, this person wants a family with you. They want to see things from the long term here, okay? They want a, a sense of completeness in this connection, okay? This person feels like, uh, you know, this would make them really happy, completely happy. Okay, that's what their feelings are. And I feel like your person at this time feels like there's a sense of loss. This, your person feels like they almost are being left out in the cold a lot. Um, I don't feel like they know how to deal with it. Um, they feel like there's some kind of lack there, okay, with the Five of Pentacles energy. Your person feels like there's about to, about to uh, something's about to happen to them where it's gonna really hurt them a lot. And I feel like with this Three of Swords energy, I feel like this person is really feeling like it's really messing with their mind. And they just are getting prepared to be really hurt here with the Three of Swords energy. Going further on this, Tens talk about a sense of completion. Fives talk about some kind of change. Your person may feel like you may have another person uh, in this situation, whether that's real or not, that's what's going on with this person's feelings. They have this sense of heartache here when it comes to you. So we see your person has the Rider card energy. This person feels like they want some kind of good news, okay? They want some kind of movement in this connection. They feel like they want to fulfill their desires in the sense of completion here in an opportunity. Your person is stressing. Your person is feeling like they're gonna receive some kind of news of stress, okay? With the mice card energy or mice, mice can all mice. Mice can also talk about taking something away. So it's almost like they feel like what's gonna to happen to them is that the movement that's happening in this connection is gonna be taken away somehow, okay? Your person wants to reveal these stressors to them, okay? The sun card can talk about revealing, okay, happiness or luck. So when it comes to this heartache that they're dealing with, this mental agony, they want to reveal this to you or they want the sense of happiness in this connection with the 10 of cups being the mirrored card there. So it's like they feel like, all right, I'm gonna receive some kind of news and some, some kind of troubling news uh, that is going to affect my happiness okay that's exactly what it's saying for Lenormand there and then we see going further on this this person has done a lot of soul searching here they've looked at this very deeply you know they've taken some time out to really analyze the situation like the Virgo energy and they want to have heart heart conversations with you about this okay 
your person feels like they have a lot of chemistry and a lot of passion with you. And also because of this deep attraction that they have for you, this, uh, it's like they almost like don't understand it. It's like, it's like getting to them, you know? They constantly uh, are thinking about it. It's hurting them, okay? So we can see that the Queen of Cups energy is like emotionally, they're not sure where they stand with you. They don't know if you have the same feelings for them. And so they keep going back and forth in their mind, like, should I give my cup of love? Should I not give my cup of love? Should I keep things in a very organized, structured manner here with the Emperor card energy? You know, should I, you know, just keep things in a formal state? Okay. Because this person's like, I feel all this passion for them. I feel like there's opportunities for this passion here, with the Ace of Wands energy. So it's like this patient energy because the sense of structure, the sense of, uh, you know, organization when it comes to this potential opportunity of passion. Your person feels like there is romance where they want success here, where they want to be recognized with the moon card energy. Your person feels like they want to have a hopeful outcome here with the star card energy. Your person feels like for you, possibly the sense of this heartache, they may feel like you have some other potential passionate energy here. Here he's Sagittarius Leo energy, because they see the garden card energy. They may feel like you have a lot of options, a lot of choices. There may be other people involved. Or your person feels like romance and hopeful energy, a positive outcome for you guys to go out, hang out, and hang together, be together, spend time together. There we go again. This person feels like there's a lot of stress and anxiety when it comes to this romance because of something to do with a relationship or because of the fact that they're they're like, wow, there's something a lot more deeper here. You know, on a conscious level or not, this person may feel like there's a soulmate connection. Your person is feeling like, all right, I need to be patient here because possibly there's other people involved and I want to invest time in this connection here. I want to see what happens with this connection. Leo, your person feels like they have strong desires for you because this is the card of desire. They want, to, they, they feel like this is like a part of their willpower. It's like they want control around this, okay? They want control around this, Leo. And it's been going on for a long time now. Your person feels like sometimes you give to others, but you don't give enough to them, okay? So they feel like they want an equal give and take in the connection. And they're ready for some kind of positive changes here with the store card energy. Your person, Wally, wants to make an effort here, right? Because they feel like you're a great love and you're worth taking the steps they're guided to take. Your person feels like they want to go out. They want to hang out. They want to be together. They want to spend time together. Or they may feel like the reason why there's not an equal give and take is possibly because of the, the fact that they're, you know, they may feel like you're going out and you're spending other time with other people and they feel like they want to balance around that. They want improvements around that. Again, Three of Pentacles for Leo, they feel like they want to build some kind of huge foundation or they feel like there's already a foundation in place here with this Three of Pentacles energy. They want to work together, all right, with this Three of Pentacles energy. And they're trying to gain knowledge about this with the book card energy and they're at a crossroads for some of you i feel like the reason why there's a crossroads okay because this person may feel that there's another person involved with the situation okay um which is also because we see the people card and we see the soulmate card for, for me sometimes this is saying this person wants a relationship with you okay or it could be saying that there's already a relationship going on and, and we see the socializing, so we see that there could be other people involved, or they could be saying that they want to go out with you. Okay, so you have to take this how it resonates, because obviously we're talking to a lot of Leos here. So I feel like this person's like, I really did a lot of deep, deep heavy soul searching about our connection. 
and I want to have heart-to-heart -heart conversations about this chemistry and passion. I want to leave this stressful situation behind about this relationship or, you know, I want to make this choice with the heart or I want to start a relationship with you and I'm trying to be patient to see how things are going to play out. I really want to make this effort to go out and make this choice or I really want you to choose who you want to be with. That's what I feel like for some of you. Okay. I feel like this person is like, is afraid of bad news, okay? That's gonna affect their happiness. That's what I feel like from the Lenormand right there. I also feel like this person's knowing that there is a connection between you guys and there's romance between you guys and they want success. And so they're trying to be hopeful about that. I feel like your person for a really long time really want some kind of changes, improvements, and they just want to gain knowledge because right now they feel like they lack the knowledge. Like, it's like they're trying to turn that book around and they want to see, you know, what's going on, right? Your person wants happiness with you. I feel like your person wants a family with you. That's what I feel like from this particular card here. I feel like your person has a sense of loss, possibly because of a third party situation or because of just this sense of heartache that maybe that there's someone else in your life, okay? Your person feels like they've been patient when it comes to their emotions and they feel like there's a sense of structure, a sense of coldness almost with the uh, Emperor card energy about this potential opportunity of passion. Your person really wants to take charge of this and they have strong desires to bring things into balance to build a foundation with you with the Three of Pentacles energy. All right, my beautiful Leos, I love you guys so much. If you guys liked it, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. If you're interested in the personal reading, right now the personal readings are closed. But if you would like to book a reading with me, um, you can be put on the list by going to my website, jenniferwalkerzen.com. Just go to my contact page and just let me know you want to be put on the list and I will. For the free reading contest, all you guys have to do is put twin flames in the comments below, picking two people for a free personal reading. Tomorrow, I'll be bringing out your monthlies, which will be included with love, current finance, and health and wellness, so stay tuned for that. And there's multiple readings to go check out right now, like will they return, um, what are their true intentions, secrets, and weeklies are all up and available for you guys to watch right now. I love you guys so much. You guys can follow me on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, or Twitter. Love you guys so much. Have a great rest of your um, month and I will see you guys soon.